The time has come. Welcome to a new year of my Halloween double feature videos. This first week, I wanted to focus on true terror, real world horror. Because if you ask me, human beings are the true real monsters of the world. Now the following two films that I've chosen are at the top of their genre when dealing with this subject matter. The following two films have it all. Drugging, kidnapping, sodomy, rape, scatophilia, masturbation, branding, hanging, scalping, burning, ghost, ghouls, goblins, my son. <laughs> and all sorts of violence, including sexual and psychological torture and murder. Now before I dive into the first film, <clears throat> cheers. First up, from 1975, released three weeks after his murder, Pierre Paolo Pasolini's controversial art horror film, Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom. So for those who haven't seen this movie, brace yourselves, strap in. This film is loosely based on the adaptation of the 1785 novel of the same name from Marquis de Sade. And this film is also split into uh, four segments inspired by Dante's Divine Comedy. The film also references Frederick Nietzsche, Ezra Pound, and Marcel Proust. So let me pause the movie real quick because I don't believe I gave a summary on what this film is actually about. So the film focuses on wealthy, corrupt Italian libertines during the fascist Republic of Salo, which at the time was run by Nazi Germany. These corrupt libertines kidnap 18 teens and subject them to four months of extreme violence and sexual and psychological torture. Here we go. Now here's where the real movie starts. All this eating is kind of making me hungry, so we're going to give these flaming hot, smoky ghost pepper puffs a try. I have been saving these for right occasion. Tonight's finally the night. Very good. They definitely have a a smoky flavor to them. A little hint spice. Not hot, but flavorful. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Gotta wash those Cheetos down somehow. Mm hmm. Now the final chapter of the film.
poi si chiama il tuo ragazzo? Margherita. Well, there you have it. Pier Paolo Pasolini's Salo, or The 120 Days of Sodom. What a lovely story. Now, before I start this next film, while we're on the subject of shit, that I get the party going with the 2023 Pocky One Chip Challenge. This is gonna contain Carolina Reaper and Naga Viper Pepper. <sighs> I'm gonna turn the fan on for this one. Bring this shit up right quick. It is. Got a little poster inside. Mm. Next film of the night, The Human Centipede. First sequence. Second film of the night, sticking to the subject of kidnapping and torture from 2009, written, directed, and co-produced by Tom Six. This is The Human Centipede, first sequence. The film focuses on a German surgeon who kidnaps three tourists and sews them mouth to anus, thus forming a, you guessed it, a human centipede. Uh, I'm cracking another one open. You know, that one ship wasn't as hot as last year's, but it was still, uh, still enough to do some damage. I don't see who would die from that ship, but I feel this generation is getting weaker and weaker. So sorry, Kyle. Oh yeah, The Human Centipede. The film went on to spawn two sequels, one pretty good and one not so good. And if you all have seen the trilogy, you can pinpoint which ones I'm referring to. Now before I end this video, the two films that I watched tonight are extreme. Extreme films get remembered. Both of the directors took risks by not playing it safe and predictable, which brings me to my next subject and also my last subject someone needs to finally release the onania club any tom six fan know what i'm talking about so any movie distributors release the onania club if you guys like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button look for my social media follow me on facebook instagram and twitter the links will be in the description and join me next week for another halloween Double feature video.